to another online video. Today we will be making a sweet molasses pound cake. This is absolutely perfect for a fall or winter dessert for your family. It is going to be absolutely delicious and I'm so excited that you are joining me to make it today. So there's a lot of ingredients in front of me. I'm going to slowly go over them with you. And what you might want to do is you might want to pause the video when you need to so that you can gather all of these ingredients that you're going to need. So what you're gonna want to grab is flour, baking soda, nutmeg, cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, half a cup of butter, brown sugar, milk, molasses, corn syrup, one egg, and vanilla. So feel free to kind of rewind and listen to all those ingredients that you're gonna need to gather. So go ahead and grab all of those and then when you're ready, come back and we'll get started. Okay, so hopefully you have gathered all of those ingredients and we are ready to get started. So we are going to do this a little bit slower than usual just because I would say this is a little bit more of an advanced recipe versus some of the easier things that we have done in the past. So a couple things that you're gonna need to do now before you get started. I need you to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So 350, go ahead and do that. Next, you are going to want to spray a loaf pan with nonstick cooking spray. So again, that is just a regular loaf pan I'll show you here. Just a regular loaf pan that has been sprayed with nonstick spray. Okay. After you've done that, we are ready to get started. You're going to want to grab a large bowl. And in this bowl, we are going to combine our flour, baking soda, nutmeg, cinnamon, and pumpkin pie spice. So let's go ahead and do that. First, we're gonna grab our flour. We need one and a half cups of flour. So I'm just gonna move this over here. One and a half cups of flour. So again, my method of doing the flour is using a spoon to scoop into the measuring cup to avoid any air pockets. And I'm gonna use the back of my knife here to just level it off. So there's one cup. And now I need half a cup. Same thing, we're gonna level it off with the back of our knife and into the bowl. So we have just added one and a half cups of flour to our bowl. Next, we are going to grab our baking soda. We need one teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my teaspoon here, level it off with the um, top of the box here. If you don't have a box that kind of levels it off for you, just use the back of a knife to level off your teaspoon of baking soda. So there's our teaspoon of baking soda. Next, we're gonna add in our nutmeg. We need half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Again, that is half a teaspoon of nutmeg. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my half teaspoon here. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually just using the box to level off my nutmeg. 
But if you don't have a box, just use the back of your knife again. So there's half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Next, we're gonna add our cinnamon. We need one teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Now this jar for me can get a little bit messy, so I'm just gonna kinda start pouring some cinnamon into my teaspoon. I'm gonna use the back of a knife to see how much I have. I can do a little bit more. Spices are always really nice because usually it's okay if you end up adding just a tiny bit more than what the recipe calls for. Okay, so I've got about one teaspoon of cinnamon, so I'm just gonna add that to my bowl. Okay, next we are going to add our pumpkin pie spice. We need another one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I am going to need to use the back of my knife for this one. And that is about one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. So go ahead and add that. Okay, so now we're gonna mix all of these together in our bowl here. I'm using a whisk, but you can absolutely use a wooden spoon. That's totally fine as well. And you're just gonna stir it until you think everything is mixed together nicely. Okay, so I think that's mixed together nicely. So. Just a recap here, what you should have in your bowl right now is your flour, your baking soda, your nutmeg, cinnamon, and pumpkin pie spice. So make sure all of those are mixed together in this bowl. And now we are actually going to move over to our stove. You're gonna need to grab two different saucepans and we are going to make our way over there and continue with this recipe. So we're gonna leave this here to the side for now and we're gonna make our way over to the stove. Okay, so we have moved over to the stove here and there are a few different ingredients that I need you to have ready before we get started here. So I need you to go ahead and grab your brown sugar and your milk. As well, you need to grab your molasses, your corn syrup, and your butter. So go ahead and grab those ingredients and then continue with this video. So what I have in front of me here is I have a medium size saucepan and I have a small size saucepan. In the small saucepan here, to the, to the left here, we are going to add our milk and our brown sugar. So for milk, we need one and a third cups of milk. So go ahead and grab your liquid measuring cup. And I know you can't see what I'm measuring out here, but I'm just measuring out one and a third cups of milk. So the easiest way to do this is I start with my one cup. I start with my one cup of milk and go ahead and add that. And now I'm gonna measure out a third cup like that, and I'm gonna go ahead and add that as well. So we have one and a third cups of milk in this saucepan here, in the small one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on my stove to medium heat. Okay, now to this saucepan, we are also going to add our brown sugar. So for brown sugar, 
we need one cup. So go ahead and grab your brown sugar, grab your one cup measuring cup, and we're gonna start measuring our brown sugar. So I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I am scooping my brown sugar into my one cup measuring cup, and I am using the back of my spoon, just like this, to pack it down and fill it to the top. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit more. I'm going to pack it down and I've got one cup of brown sugar. And we're gonna add that to our saucepan. Okay, so before we do anything else, this needs to dissolve into the milk. So we need to make sure that we are stirring this and heating up our milk until our brown sugar has completely dissolved into our milk. So before we move on to our medium saucepan, we're just gonna go ahead and continue to stir this until our sugar has completely dissolved. And you should be able to tell that your sugar is dissolved because you won't feel the little grains of the sugar in your saucepan. So I will be right back when my sugar has completely dissolved into my milk. Okay, so we are back and my brown sugar has completely dissolved into my milk. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my stove off and we are just going to let this sit for a minute. Okay, the next few things that I need you to have ready to put in your medium sized saucepan is your half a cup of butter, your molasses and your corn syrup. So what we're gonna do is we are going to add our molasses, corn syrup, and butter. Molasses, we need half a cup. So go ahead and grab a one half measuring cup. So I've got mine here in front of me and I'm just going to begin to pour my molasses into my half cup. And I'm going to stop there. Okay, so I have one half cup of molasses that I'm going to add to my medium saucepan here. And I'm probably going to grab a small spatula to get all of the molasses off of this cup. So there we go. Make sure you get all of that molasses out of that cup as best as you can. Okay, so there we have a half cup of molasses in our saucepan. Next, you're going to add half a cup of corn syrup. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the same measuring cup because they are all going in the same spot. So I'm gonna measure out half a cup of corn syrup. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna add that to my pan. And the same thing, I'm gonna grab my spatula and try my best to get all of it off of my cup. Okay, there we go. Now, you are going to go ahead and add half a cup of butter to your saucepan 
as well. Okay, now we are going to turn our stove again on medium heat. And we are going to mix this until the butter is melted and all of the ingredients are mixed together nicely. So I will be right back when all of these ingredients are mixed together. Okay, so all of my ingredients in my medium saucepan are mixed together nicely and the butter is completely melted. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my stove. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to leave both of these saucepans here on the stove until they are completely cooled. So go ahead and let these sit until they are cool. And then we are going to go back over to our dry ingredients in our bowl to the side, and we are going to start mixing together our cake. Okay, so we are back with our dry ingredients over here, and the next step of this recipe is we are going to take our brown sugar and milk mix from the stove and we are going to add it to our dry ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and pour my milk and brown sugar mixture into the bowl. Using a wooden spoon, I'm just going to stir it all together. Okay, next we are going to take our molasses and corn syrup and butter mixture and we are going to add that to our bowl as well. So go ahead and pour that into your bowl as well. And we're going to mix that together. Don't worry about the liquidy, like the liquidiness of your batter. It's going to bake in the oven nicely. So don't worry about it not being super thick. Okay, so now I'm actually going to put my wooden spoon aside and we are going to whisk in our vanilla and our egg. So I have my one egg cracked into a bowl, and remember, I always do that because I would rather pick out shells from this bowl compared to this bowl if I got any shells in. So there's one egg, and then my one teaspoon of vanilla. So again, that was one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla. So now I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm just going to whisk the egg and vanilla into my bowl until it's all combined. Okay. So I think that is combined really nicely. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my loaf pan and we are going to get this set up into our pan. Okay, so now I'm going to take my cake batter and I'm going to pour it into my prepared baking pan. Just like that. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you are going to bake this in your oven for about 45 minutes or until a toothpick is inserted and it comes out clean. So I will see you when our cake is fully baked. Okay, so I have just taken my cake out of the oven and it took exactly 45 minutes to bake. 
It looks and smells so good. So that's all for this recipe. You are going to want to let this cool for one hour before you serve it. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. As always, send me photos if you end up do if you do end up making the recipe, and I will see you next time.